Oh no. Oh no. There we go. There we go. That's a big brown. That is micro streamer. My name's Eric and today we're gonna talk about micro streamers on a mono rig. Incredibly versatile, incredibly flexible, gives me advantage in both size and numbers and without having to think a lot about fishing pressure. So stick around till the end and I will show you a couple of my favorite micro streamers. Streamers are super effective on their own, but when you combine a micro streamer with a modular mono rig, you are able to catch larger fish, more fish, because of the flexibility and versatility of your presentation and retrieve. Um, larger fish, you're offering a larger meal. Um, optimal foraging theory just states that fish get a better energetic return on their output with a larger meal. Um, I'm not gonna go too into mono rigs, um, but in short, a mono rig is a longer, lighter leader that allows an angler to maintain contact with their flies, control where the flies are at in the water column, um, and present their flies with little to no drag. A modular mono rig is opposed to like a micro thin leader. Um, it's basically the creation of that mono rig with larger diameter materials. Um, this casts more similar to fly line and makes the rig more versatile by nature. It's easier to turn over flies. So for example, to switch from nymphing a stream to dry dropper, uh, a lot more easily with a modular rig rather than a micro thin Euro leader. What I have rigged up here today is a brown slump buster 3.5 and an olive bugger, jig bugger tungsten, uh, four, four millimeters, 3.5 on a modular Euro system, 15 feet of 20 tapered down to 15 to 12 and I'm running about 14 inches of cider material. The benefits of this system are many. Um, high pressure situations uh, where fish are seeing the same flies over and over, you can quickly and easily change up your presentation. Um, and your retrieve in a way that is good for the cleanup game. The other day I spent about an hour and a half um, just catching fish out of a section of a river that was literally like 40 feet by 10 feet. Um, and I was just catching fish after you would think they would be spooked. You change up your presentation and you'll get fish to take even after they've been hit pretty hard. Um, so I'm here on the Shelton Laurel and we're gonna give it a go and uh, show you a little bit of dead drift, swing, swim, and strip. And all of those presentations are going to, are key to continue to catch fish that have been hit already. So here we go. So I just caught a fish dead drifting this little channel here, but because these fish probably were hit pretty hard yesterday, I was able to jig these flies slightly to give it some action so that fish would take. Putting streamers on your rig doesn't necessarily mean that you have to swing or strip to catch fish. On a modular leader, you can easily dead drift, like 
typical nymphing so you can get those flies down there however if that's not working you can change up your presentation and swim the flies or jig them so i've been fishing this little run for about 30 minutes i've caught about six fish and i'm literally still fishing the same run because i'm changing up my presentation and retrieval because i have a modular euro leader with two micro jigs on it so the dead drift is king once they see that presentation start to switch up my retrieve and then i'm catching its cleanup game so this technique is very flexible very uh modular and it just works same spot i've been catching all the others right out of this little hole didn't want to take but i got him to take because i was swimming a micro streamer so there it is and the dead drift just isn't enough That's bricky. Just fishing this spot up here. Caught about 20 fish out of a little stretch of river with the micro streamer, different techniques. And I came back, hit the run again, and I landed that big brown. When most anglers think of streamers, they think of high flows, muddy water, overcast days, stripping banks. When I think of streamers, I think of large brown trout. I challenge you to test out this rig fly tandem and get out of the typical streamer mindset. Dead drift micro streamers on a mono rig until the dead drift just isn't enough. Then play with a little action, a little movement. Let me know how it goes. As promised, I wanted to go ahead and talk about a couple of my favorite uh, micro streamers. Top row, brown and olive. A lot of these are brown and olive. Um, these are woolly buggers, uh, jig style, tungsten. Everything in this box is tungsten. Um, this row here, brown and olive slump buster. I uh, love the slump. And uh, bunny flash jigs. So in black, this color is off the charts and then this is a uh, olive one here um this actually is a double tungsten uh pat's rubber legs it's not actually a micro streamer but um it's a killer fly it's a absolute bomb gets down deep and this pattern is just super effective um we do actually sell this this box uh, it's my favorite flies put it together it kind of call it the microdose. Um, this fly is, this box is available on anchorfly.com. Drifting this little seam right here and they're not super hungry and it was not taking and I went ahead and twitched those micro buggers a couple of times came up with this little beauty. it is little rainbow pretty little rainbow uh, see you later little buddy have a good day thanks for watching if you liked what you saw today um, give us a like give us a subscribe, hit that notification bell, uh, support the channel for future videos of this nature. If you have a question, please leave it in the comments. If you have had success, if you have insight on streamers or rigging streamers, um, types of streamers, situations, uh, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Um, until next time, fish on this day.